All right, what's up, everybody? My name is Delta Wolf 556, and we are back on some more Black Ops 3 custom zombies. And today we are on the Bloons Tower Defense 6 custom zombies map. I am a fan of the Bloons music for the round change, but we also don't even spawn in with a weapon or anything. Oh, we do have a body, and ugh. Looks like a really deformed hand on my feet. All right, don't look at your feet. That's kind of gross. So we can unlock the Dark Monkey Path for all players for 500 points. So let's do that. Okay. Pretty cool. Ooh, double points right off the bat. Very nice. Oh, I like the melee animation too. Aw. Unfortunately, we got a nuke, but um, I also am a pretty big fan of the little banana stands for the perks. So we could buy that, and then we just eat a banana. That's cool. And there is a Paragon Totem here, but we can't do anything with that yet. And then this is to activate in poppable mode. Okay, so that'll be like timed rounds. Then we can upgrade this to quick shots, so I suppose we can do that. Okay, so we still have to manually shoot it like it's semi-auto. We can shoot it a lot faster, so that's pretty cool. Get down here, you. Okay. The next upgrade is Spyco Pult. Ooh, do we do that? Where's the doors at? Right here, and is there a door over here? There is not. Oh, mortar system not linked. Okay, so that's what the mortars are used for. Okay. Oh, there's another one over here as well. Okay. Okay, last zombie. You are dead. Still can't afford that just yet. I kind of want to get this before we go anywhere. I'm also curious to see how the spike bolt looks, you know? You also don't have to worry about reloading. Or at least not right now. This kind of reminds me of that Bloons Tower Defense FPS game that somebody made a few years ago. I remember I was streaming that before, and then I was like, this is basically just like Call of Duty Zombies, you know? You just train the balloons like you would the zombies. Speaking of which, the spawn room is actually not a terrible training spot. There's only two spawns, this side and that side, so obviously as the rounds progress, it'll get more difficult to be in here. Also, we do have enough for the spike bolt, so if I could manage to get up to that and buy it... Can I buy it? I'm right there. I can. Ooh, that thing looks cool. What's the melee animation? Oh, that's funny. I like that. That's a funny. All right. Ooh, that thing is powerful. Oh, and it also ricochets off the walls and stuff. Wow. Can I damage him if I ricochet it off of there? I want to test that. I will test if the ricochet... Okay, the ricochet does in fact damage them. <laughs> oh, man, this is fun. I like this. Probably one of the best maps I've played in a while. Okay, we... Ooh. A part for something. Okay. Kind of looks like part of a tax shooter. But we also got the boomerang monkey path right here for only 600. So let's try to get that... And this thing is a one-hit melee on round five, which is pretty cool. I mean, it makes sense. This is a tier three upgrade, you know? Can we do anything more? Ooh, the tier four, the juggernaut. Ooh, so we're definitely going to want to get that later. Okay, let's buy the boomerang. This one is also not automatic. No, we didn't have enough time to grab the nuke. Oh, well. And can we upgrade this? We can upgrade it to faster rings. I'm guessing it's still not automatic. Nope. Okay. The next upgrade is Bionic Boomer. Ooh, I love that. I love that upgrade path for the boomerang. So our next door is right here for 3,000. So we will head on down that way. These, like, first two rooms seem like really good training spots. So there is a zombie spawn right here in the middle, but it seems pretty easy to work around. All right, let's unleash the true power of the spike pole. Wow, that thing is actually pretty good. Ooh, double points. And insta-kill. Oh, we never checked the melee animation for... Oh, <laughs> that's funny. That's the melee for the boomerang. Okay, so we can afford this, or we can... Let's buy this before we go anywhere. Oh, yeah, that looks cool. Now, if some zombies would like to spawn in here soon, so I could test the melee animation before the insta-kill double points wears off. Oh, that's funny kind of like oh wait it like ejects a boomerang when you punch with it it's kind of like a power fist from fallout in a way too now i'd imagine that the bionic boomer is going to be automatic it is it doesn't shoot very fast but you know that would make sense that it wouldn't shoot that fast for game balancing you know its range isn't that great either yeah it doesn't go that far okay so it's round, grab the nuke. How much is turbo chart? Ooh, that's cheaper than the juggernaut. Let's buy this. Yeah, we're I mean we're only a hundred points off from it anyway. There we go. 
And then the real question is, can I upgrade this when I'm not holding it? I can. Okay. And then it just says hold to receive the turbo charge. So maybe if I trade this out, I could just come back there and grab... Oh, that shoots so much faster. But yeah, maybe if I trade out the boomerang monkey, I can just come back here and grab it later. That would be nice. Now, we still haven't progressed out of, like, the first two rooms, so I haven't turned on power or anything, but I have a fully upgraded boomerang monkey, so I'd say that's a win. I think we'll train with the boomerang monkey just because, you know, I can actually see the right side of my screen. <laughs> but then when we got a big old horde like this, we'll pull out the spiker pole and then just, you know, destroy all of them. I love how they flinch when they get hit with this thing. <laughs> oh, man, this is fun. This is great. I like this map. This is probably one of the coolest custom... Well, not probably. It is one of the coolest custom zombies maps I've played, like, ever. I'm really curious to see some of the other towers that are available. The melee on this is no longer a one-shot. Oh man. Oh, wow. It's somehow a one-shot all of a sudden. I don't know why. That's insane. I cannot believe this. Oh, this one's still one-hit melees. So let's do that, because then we can maximize our point. Oh, we're already at 8k, though, so... Let's just get this door open, and ooh. We got a big old tower with another mortar up there. The little monkey town hall. Ooh, there's Jug. And then, ooh, bomb shooters right here. Looks like there's an MIB in the middle. Oh, there's a tax shooter right here as well. And then there's a super monkey fountain, as obviously there's the temple of the sun god, which is pretty cool. Oh, that's what that part is going to be for that we grabbed earlier. As well as this right here. So I'm not sure what else we're missing for it, but we will check. So we grabbed one of the barrels already. It looks like it needs one more barrel, so we got to keep an eye out for that. Oh, there's also an area over here as well, because there's another mortar and there's like a tree stump with a shirt. Oh, that's going to be the ninja monkey then. Okay, that's going to be sick. Also, we're pretty close to 7,500, so let's uh, actually get that, and then let's upgrade our spike up hole into the juggernaut. And there we go. We now have the juggernaut. Wow, this thing's got a lot of ammo. Okay, it's not... That's a big old spike ball. I mean, you know, it makes sense. It is the Juggernaut after all. Okay, so that's sick. We got two fully upgraded towers now. So I'm assuming there is no Pack-a-Punch on this map. It would be kind of odd to have that after, you know, having this stuff. Let's see. Do we go up there or do we go through here? Because we know there's an... Oh, there's a, another perk stand over there. We also need to check if we need to turn on power because I didn't even bother looking at the Juggernaut bananas okay so it does not look like we need to turn on power so that's nice insecure very nice oh yeah this thing is just gonna destroy everything i think these might be the last few zombies so we'll just whack them oh, i want a nuke to end off the round very cool all right so in that case let's go ahead and buy ourselves a juggernaut banana I'm wondering how they got these bananas to be perk bananas. Maybe they just took the perk colas and then they like took a syringe and just injected it into the bananas. Or maybe they planted banana trees and then they watered the trees with the perk colas. That would also make sense, I guess. I wonder if I walk into that if I would die. Probably. I don't want to test it. This juggernaut is really fun. <laughs> oh, but it's no longer a one shot. Oh man. One shot melee, that is. Okay. Do we go for the ninja monkey or the giant tower? I think we'll go for the ninja monkey one first. I also want to see what the perk is that's over here. Oh, it looks like stamina. Okay. Ooh, back shooter part. Thank you. So that means we can actually go and upgrade. Ooh, no, 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 not that. I guess we can go back and upgrade the attack shooter now. I guess not upgrade it. We're repairing it. So it's a trap. Okay. So that's pretty cool. Now, I don't know if there's a perk limit or how many perks are on this map, but let's go ahead and buy the Stamina Banana. Old E to Link Mortar. Use Mortar. Whee! Ooh, okay. That's interesting. Oh, ooh, what was that? Offer a weapon? Let's offer this one. What does that do? Offering received. What did I... Did did I get anything? Can I grab a new one? Weapon locked. Okay, maybe it's a soul chest. All right. I guess we can go buy the ninja monkey then. Or we get the bomb shooter. Let's get the bomb shooter, actually. This might be fun. Actually, I got to be careful because I don't know if there's PhD flopper on this map. So, okay, it's not very, I mean, obviously it is the base. Okay, no. There's no explosive damage, or self-inflicted, rather. I was going to say, oh, this thing's not very good. Well, it is the base version, so 
It also doesn't shoot very fast, so extra range. Oh, what do I need extra range for? Does it shoot like a missile or like a grenade launcher? I think it's kind of like a grenade launcher. I mean, this isn't doing terrible. It's not doing great, but... I mean, it's not bad. This No self-inflicted explosive damage is really good, though. Cluster bomb. Oh, we can't afford it yet. We must get the cluster bombs. I'm actually kind of glad it's that upgrade path. All right. Oh, sick, and it changes the cannon, too. I mean, that's to be expected, you know? Oh, that's sick. Oh, this, this might be the best one. Yeah, this might be the best one for sure. What's the final upgrade for it? Recursive cluster for 9,500. Dang. Okay, well, that's round, so let's grab this nuke. And then I suppose we could maybe go up here if I can afford this. Not quite. All right. Imagine if the bomb shooter was the mob mauler. That wouldn't really be very effective because it doesn't seem like there's any boss zombies or anything. Oh, what if there's a boss fight? Oh, what if you have to, like, fight, like, a Moab or something at, like, the very end? That would be sick. Or maybe, like, a ZUMG or even one of the bads. Dude, that would be insane. Okay, so we have enough points now. Let's go ahead and open this up, and then let's climb all the way up. Oh. I was going to make a joke about the Metal Gear Solid ladder that you have to climb, but um, you just climb that really fast. Don't worry, monkeys don't take fall damage. Okay. Well, that's good to know, I guess. What tower do we got up here? Ooh, sniper monkey. Very cool. Ooh, and mule kick. Okay. So maybe we will buy mule kick, and then we can buy the sniper monkey since we're up here. We can also link that mortar as well. And there is another paragon totem up here, but I don't want to offer this because this one's pretty good. You know, but um, let's buy Mule Kick. And then how much is this? This is 1,200. I don't know how much the... Okay, so we really don't have fall damage. You know, just had to test that, you know. I don't think I looked at the cost of the Ninja Monkey. We're going to buy whichever one is cheaper first. So the Ninja Monkey is 1,300. All right, so the Sniper Monkey is cheaper. By 100 points. Not much, but, you know, it's something. So now we buy the Sniper Monkey. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Ah, there's shoulder clippings. All right, just don't look in the bottom left corner. Now, for the base version, this isn't doing terrible. Also, it's not like a bolt action or anything like that. You can just kind of spam it. I do like the model of the weapon. 360 no scope. Oh, I missed. <laughs> okay, but I mean, it could still, like, one shot to the head on round 16. With no uh, double tap. Actually, is there even double tap on this map? Probably not. Yeah, this thing is actually really good for the base variant. And that is round. Grab that. Now I suppose we will go and uh, upgrade the sniper rifle to faster firing. Oh, and we can automatically get the semi-auto upgrade. Okay, so it is noticeably faster. Oh, and you can't aim with it. Oh, okay. I kind of like that scope overlay. Yeah, this thing's not bad at all. It's really good. It's also really fun. I think we could live without upgrading this thing for a little bit. I think it's fine as is for the time being. This is also a surprisingly not bad training spot. Like, I'm actually kind of surprised that this is a viable training spot up here. Insta kill. Oh, we didn't check the melee animation for this thing. Are we just gonna like hit him with like the spot of the? Oh no, you just do the normal knife animation. I guess that makes sense. This is like the only actual gun. Oh, imagine if there was a dartling gun. Oh, that would be sick. I mean, the dartling gun would be like OP, but um, you know. All right. So let's go and upgrade our bomb shooter. So now we can get the recursive cluster. Oh yeah. This thing is going to be sick. I really like the model of it, too. And it seems like that's really it for the map. It seems like the only other place I could go to might be up to the temple. I mean, there is, like, another one of the perk things up there. Then I suppose maybe what we could do just to test out another tower. We could offer our boomerang to this totem back here. Provided it actually lets me. Yep. All right. That also didn't give me anything, but then we can buy the Ninja Monkey. Let's see. Okay, so this one is also automatic. It's not great, 
But we can upgrade it to, I think that was sharper shurikens. It's definitely significantly better, and you can shoot it significantly faster than the base version. What's the next upgrade? Double shot? Ooh, and Bloon Jitsu's next. Okay, we're doing surprisingly well up here. Wow, this is shining really bright. And there's an insta-kill. Check the melee animation. Very cool. You just kind of punch him with the ninja stars in your hand. Just keep punching them. There we go. How much points do we have? It's kind of really bright. 8,380. Oh, perfect. We could buy this. All right, we already got it fully upgraded. Very cool. It's got a lot of ammo, too. Does it shoot five at once? Ooh. So it throws five at once, but it only uses one ammo. Okay. That's what I meant when I said that. So now the sniper monkey is the only other one we need to upgrade. But this thing can still one shot to the head, which is really nice. I wonder if it always one shots to the head. Like if you get a headshot, if it's a one shot, or if it's just for right now. This one is also insanely good. Wow, another max ammo as well. Hello. Leave me alone, please. Thank you. All right. Buy that. Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, yeah, you can shoot that so much faster. And then we got full auto rifle for 8,000 after that. 360 no scope. And I missed again. Yeah, this thing is pretty cracked. I haven't used this thing in a while. Holy. <laughs> this thing is insane. I mean, it's also instant kill right now, too, but damn. Wow. This is definitely probably the best weapon, especially because no self-inflicted explosive damage. I know I said it earlier, but I feel like if I touch that, it's just going to instantly down me, which I guess makes sense. But let's go upgrade this sniper to the full auto upgrade. And here we go. We now got the full auto rifle. Oh, yeah, we love that animation. <laughs> can I still aim? Oh, I can. It's also got a lot of ammo, too, which is very nice. So this seems like it's the last Paragon Totem, so maybe we just offer this. Maybe at the end of this round we'll offer this, just so, you know, we can have some experience with it, you know? Imagine if you could, like, somehow get the Ice Tower. Oh, it's Widow's Wine. But yeah, imagine if you could get uh, the Ice Tower somehow, and then, like, it would kind of work like maybe a better Winter's Owl. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool. I'm going to shoot him as soon as he flies up here. <laughs> It's so goofy when their body just like ragdolls to death up here. But all right, let's offer that. Ooh, more power is required. Okay, so it's probably a soul chest if I had to guess. Are the other ones doing the same thing? Yeah, can't quite see that one from over here. Yep. Okay, I made the golden shove. Okay, I guess it's gonna do that for every soul that it gets. So I think that's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I lost count. I gave up on counting now. Okay, I think that's everything. Oh, it's shooting at the uh, the sun tower or the sun temple, sun god temple. You know what I mean. But all right, let's not waste any more zombies. Just shoot that right there, just so you know, make sure that the ground is clear for us. And let's bring all these bozos over to this one. Make sure that mortar is good to go, just in case we need a quick escape. Okay, the range on that is pretty generous. It's like right at the corner of the mortar, and then it will send it there. Okay. So I think it's around 30 zombies. I kind of lost count up there. Oh, I just noticed they spawned from the tree stump. I like that. I appreciate that. <laughs> Okay, so you could shoot them from way over there, and then those souls count. But then over there, they don't. Okay, that makes sense, I guess. Alright, there we go. That was this one done. So let's try to get our way with... Oh, they got stuck. Alright, they're fine now. I want to not waste that many zombies, so we want to quickly get back over to the spawn room. All right, now let's start filling this one. Oh, yeah, look at that huge line of them. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's use this thing. There is a max ammo right over here. Oh, you know, we never checked the cannon's melee attack. Oh, but that's the last one done. Let's check it now. Okay, so you just hit it with the rear of it. 
Okay, so that did something to the super monkey. Let's just hit this nuke and then let's uh, go check it out. Okay, so he's no longer shooting his laser beams down here. Hello. Receive Apex Plasma Master. That's a... Oh. Oh, it's a specialist weapon. Oh, that's sick. Can I buy... Okay, sick. I can buy that as well. Also, we have a ton of points now, too. Okay. Well, um... I guess that's that. Now, I wonder if those other towers are permanently locked, the ones that I offered, or if I'm able to get them back now. Might be a second before I can actually get off of here, but, you know. Why don't I just use this? Or why don't I use the new Apex Plasma Master? That was fucking sick. Oh, you're so fast with this, too. What the hell? We're super speed. Guess we really are a paragon. Oh, <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> that one went flying. Oh, I think we accidentally shot the ice off of here, and then now we can get the MIB. Oh, call for help. That ends the game. Okay. Now a question I have is: Am I able to get these towers back? Oh, I can. Okay, sick. And just as I thought from earlier, all you gotta do is just go up to it, and you can get it back, and you don't even have to rebuy it, which is pretty cool. Yeah, there we go. We can get the boomerang again. We can get everything again. Nice. I wonder what happens if I shoot the super monkey statue. Oh. It falls over. And then, ooh, we can become a super monkey. Okay, it's not that great right now. But, um, it's still cool. It's still cool, that's for sure. It'll be great for getting points, because it's really weak. I wonder if I was able to just shoot the Super Monkey statue the whole time. I don't know. Maybe on a, another playthrough I could test it. See if, like, maybe... Maybe you just need, like, a fully upgraded tower, and then once you have a fully upgraded one, you can immediately get the Super Monkey. I guess that would make sense, in a way. I'm guessing the Super Monkey's melee animation is... Yeah, it's the same as a Dart Monkey. That would make sense. I mean, even though it's not that strong, it's doing pretty good. I mean, it's also got a lot of ammo. And we're also almost at 50k, so let's see what we can upgrade here. Laser Blast for 6... Ooh! You get the little visor, too! Oh, that's sick! That's really cool. How much is the next one? 10,000 for plasma. Okay, but let's try out the lasers for a bit. You know, just see how cool these things are really loud. Kind of sounds like a pack punch gun. But it's definitely pretty good. It's definitely better than the darts, that's for sure. I don't think we need points anymore. The drop seems extremely generous in this map. Especially at this point. We're getting drops left and right. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just getting really lucky with drops. Oh, what's the melee attack for this? Oh, he just punches them. <laughs> Get out of here, you. Grab that. Oh, yeah. Back up to 600. I mean, it shoots pretty fast, but it doesn't, like, you know, just completely deplete your ammo. All right. Well, that's round. So let's go ahead and upgrade to the plasma. Is it going to be the triple goggle thing? Oh, yeah. Oh, and we could get the sun avatar for 19,000. Hmm. Then we get an extra 100 ammo with this thing. So that's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. That's pretty sick. The visuals are really nice. Yeah, look at that. That looks cool. That looks pretty cool. Maybe at this point, we turn on uh, impoppable mode. So that's just going to endlessly spawn zombies, and then it's going to progressively just change rounds. So once round 28 is up, based off of time, it'll automatically go to round 29. Or at least that's how it works in uh, God Zombies. I mean, it kind of does the same thing for uh, balloons as well. They also feel like they are definitely a bit speedier, the zombies. Maybe I'm just now noticing this. So we definitely got to be on our toes here. So let's grab the nuke, and then let's upgrade to the sun avatar. Excuse me. Excuse me, I would like to... Um, I would like to get thank you okay so that's round 
but the zombies haven't spawned in yet. Okay, so I guess it's a little different for impoppable mode. Maybe it just makes it more difficult. Maybe that's all it does. Well, let's test this tax shooter. Okay, okay. What if you could upgrade the tax shooter? Ooh, that'd be cool. Maybe if you get a certain amount of kills with it, you can upgrade it or something. Oh, man. Oh, and it, like, knocks you back like a Raygun Mark II. If I shoot here, will that affect all of them? I think it does. <laughs> so I can basically just sit up here unless they spawn behind me, and then I could just, like... Oh, yeah. Like, I am the sun god now. I can see everything from up here. What do you think, Steve? Yeah, Steve said he agrees. Although these corpses make it a little hard to see down there. I also don't know how much ammo this thing had to begin with, but, um... I don't think it matters, because I could just do this, grab that, and there was a max ammo. 999, okay, that makes sense. And that is, in fact, round, so that's pretty cool. Oh, I like when you swap weapons, you, like, take off the mask and then put it back on. That's pretty cool. I don't know that it'll be worth using anything else at this point. Eh, I mean, Bloom Jitsu's not doing that bad. Let's try out the Plasma Master again. <laughs> this thing is just insane. Then insta kill, obviously we don't we don't need to worry about wasting that, you know, with the insta kill. Although it is a specialist weapon, so it will recharge. Yeah, look at that, it's already recharged. I mean I didn't really use it that much to begin with, so there's that. There we can activate that again. Got some pretty decent range. I wish you could upgrade it though, that'd be cool. If there was like maybe some way to upgrade the tax shooter, that'd be nice. Okay, Bloom Jitsu is not great. <laughs> it's not great at this point. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. who said you were allowed up here? Okay, this thing is also fallen off a little bit, but not not a lot. It's still okay. It has fallen off significantly. I just can't see with it. But if I spam it, then nobody can see what's happening, and then we win. There's a nuke right there. Excuse me, zombies. I would like to, you know, actually go down the steps, please. Thank you. Come on, out of my way, please. There we go. I can't even see. <laughs> Ooh, max ammo, quick. Give me the max ammo. Yes, there we go. This thing, unfortunately, doesn't hold a lot of ammo, which kind of sucks. I do not think that this thing is very good. This thing, yeah, it's definitely fallen off. This thing is also not great. Okay, so fast forwarding a few rounds, we're now in round 37, and it is significantly more difficult to actually camp up here viably. The Sun God is still pretty good. It, it's not as insane as it was before, but it's not worth using the bomb shooter anymore. It doesn't even do anything, and the sniper isn't much better. So at this point, it's really just Super Monkey and the Apex Plasma Master, and that's for a camping strategy, camping at the top of the Sun God Temple. But unfortunately, you cannot stay up here forever. As much as I would love to, you know. But, you know, still pretty fun, though. We would basically have to resort to, you know, training at this point, I think. Because, you know, the weapons have fallen off significantly. And it's only round 37. I was going to try to get to round 50, but I feel like that's going to take way, 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 way much longer than I would like it to. Just because of the significant damage drop-off that these weapons are already doing. I mean, don't get me wrong, the Sun God is still insane, but it's not as insane. You know, they're able to get up top, and I can't really kill them fast enough to push them off entirely. Okay, maybe I lied. Maybe I can. Yeah, okay, there we go. No, I can't, and that's round. All right. I think the strat might be let them spawn in, pull out the Apex Plasma Master, shoot it like right at the bottom so that way it kills like everything that's down there, then swap back to the Sun God or maybe the um, Recursive Cluster, then just like spam it just so you can get the Apex Plasma to recharge. You know, just like get a shot right down there, then just like shoot a few times. Because if we could keep it. Okay, no, it's not damaging enough to actually do what I want it to. The Sun God, I think, might be the only way to do that. Yeah, there we go. Already charged back up. So I can shoot that. Okay, but then I almost died. <laughs> Let me go to the ledge. 
There we go. Let's stop using it. Well, there is an insta-kill down there. So the insta-kill is definitely going to be the move if I can actually manage to get to it. Which I might not. And there is the first down of the game. But yeah, like I said, it, it's kind of impossible to camp up there at this point. I'd have to be like perfect, like right on the money with how exactly I do everything. But um, I don't foresee that happening, you know. But you know, the Sun God is still really good. This map is still really fun. I'd love to see like another version of it, like maybe on like a different area. Cause this is kind of like, you know, the monkey village or the monkey meadows or whatever. So it'd be cool to like, maybe see like some other Bloon Star defense maps in zombies, as well as like maybe some more perks and stuff. Maybe some custom perks would be pretty cool. But yeah, I think you pretty much get the point. Very fun map. I definitely highly recommend it. I will put the download link at the top of the description in case you want to check that out. But I'd say, let us go ahead, let's activate that, and then let us end off the game. Okay, so there's like a proper animation for it. <laughs> the mortar monkey, that's funny. Oh no. Oh, it's the ace paragon. It's gonna nuke us. No. Wow. <laughs> well, that was pretty cool. Yeah, uh, like I was saying, highly recommend this map. Download link will be at the top of the description. Shout out to the mod author. Very cool. One of the coolest custom zombies maps that I have ever played. I would definitely, definitely highly, highly recommend it. So thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate you dropping a like on it. And if you happen to be new to my channel, I'd also appreciate you subscribing. Like I said, the Steam Workshop page for this map, which has the download for it, is in the description, as well as an invite link to my community Discord server in case you want to join that as well. Other than that, take care. Have a great rest of your day, morning, afternoon, evening, nighttime, or whatever time it is for you in whatever time zone you are in. And I'll catch you all later. Delta Wolf, out.